The Ministry of Transportation has announced measures it won't take this coming holiday season to ease traffic on the nation's highways, although greater concern seems to be the bumpy roll of fully electronic toll collection. This led Transportation Minister Ye Guangshu to once again demand major improvements from the company that runs the system within the next three months. A number of challenges await the Ministry of Transportation when motorists return home for the holidays this Lunar New Year. Today it announced special holiday recommendations and measures to ease traffic flow. The ministry's goal is for travel between Taipei and Kaohsiung to take no more than six hours. For those traveling to and from Taichung, it suggests National Freeway 1. And for travel between northern and southern Taiwan, it suggests National Freeway 3. From January 30th to February 4th, travel will be toll-free between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. There will be a 20% discount for travel on National Freeway 3 between Shinju and Yanchao District, Kaohsiung. Most reporters were interested in what the ministry is doing to improve double charges and other problems with e-tag billing. We will have a strict evaluation system. If within three months it fails to achieve standards we've set, which are stricter than those in the contract, then we will launch a mechanism for terminating the contract. E-tag is run by Far Eastern Electronic Toll Collection. Criticism over its performance has become a major headache for the transportation minister. I will personally test its app, website and customer service line. I want to understand whether its service is satisfactory from a motorist perspective. The National Freeway Bureau will fine Far Eastern up to half a million NT dollars a day starting from January 30th if problems persist.